Democratic primary is starting to heat up, especially financially. Mm -hmm. So I wanna take a look, we're gonna touch base with the advertising dollars that have been spent. Okay. And it's gonna be one of those classic damage report charts that you, you can't make any sense of, but we'll try to make You'll sense explain. of it. You'll explain. Let's bring this up, I mostly mean because it's small. But anyway, what you see there is stretching back to the beginning of this year, month by month, how many millions of dollars of, uh, oh, sorry, this is airings, but basically it correlates with the spending that's been done. And you can see there that um, starting in about July, that's when the ads started to really run. And you notice that like greenish, light green color, that's Tom Steyer, billionaire candidate. The best one, but still billionaire candidate. And he is swapping all of the other candidates combined month after month. At some point, you see Trump in October start to shoot up a bit. And then in about October, you see some pink, that's Bernie Sanders. So month after month, Tom Steyer is spending more than all the other candidates combined until- <laughs> Right, <laughs> right. I mean, Michael Bloomberg is literally, you're not hearing me right now because Michael Bloomberg's ad is on instead of us. That's basically yeah. what's going on, it's everywhere. He makes Tom Steyer look broke. And how many ads he's buying. And I'm not surprised by Bloomberg. I guess I, I'm not surprised he at all. He said he'd do it. Right, and I feel like every every time like uh, there's a presidential race, we're always wondering when it's gonna happen, if it's gonna happen, if he's gonna do it this year. But Tom Steyer is fascinating to me because I'm curious as to, like, do you want, is this a lifelong dream? Like, do you want this? Or did it just pop? Like, why not put your money into like, Give it to Cory Booker, like create, like I don't know, like you know and what I mean. Find a, but like just find a candidate that you like. Well, that's what they the normally do. That's what they normally do. Put your money there. Why do you have to be on the stage? Um, I think most billionaires are perfectly happy to try to buy a candidate. I think that some either feel like they've got it, mm -hmm. or just kind of arrogant, and they're like, you know what? That's too indirect. I'll just do it myself. Yeah, because it's a lot of. Like I said, Tom Steyer, he's probably the best because of those, he's at least running ads around climate change and he, and he seems to take the threat of Trump seriously. Like Michael Bloomberg, we'll, we'll analyze some Bloomberg ads in the near future. I but mean, he his can goals keep are his ads and he could also keep this space that he's taking up mm -hmm. that Julian Castro probably should have exactly. had in the last debate. Like, do you know what probably I mean? Probably driving like, up like, the ad eh. prices. Yeah, and he, the, the, the big issue here is just. We have a system where a billionaire could come in and say, I'm gonna spend $500 million to a billion dollars. And whether you have any interest in me whatsoever, I'm going to spend so much money that we will hire every ad creator, every strategist, and we'll figure out some way not to win the nomination necessarily. I don't think that that's likely to happen. But he'll get on the debate stage, he'll find, he'll figure out some kind of scam, honestly, like Tom Steyer did, where he's getting donations that they get the money back for. It's this ridiculous scam, and it does push other people out. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that's the state of the Democratic primary. Fun, isn't it? We're gonna be just doing it. to say yay. Yay. <laughs> uh, and this is just the beginning, and we haven't even gotten to a caucus or a primary it yet. It is still 2019. Yeah. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.